Alright, so today we're going to talk about variables and data types. Hopefully, you know what a variable is by now, you know, from your maths lessons. Um, if you don't, then maybe you'll, re you'll remember algebra, you know, uh, 2x plus 5 equals x, whatnot. Find what x is. You know, you, the x is a variable, okay? The x is um, a placeholder, essentially. Um, and that's literally what variables are in programming as well. So let's let's take a look. All right. So uh, say I want x, okay, uh, and I want x to equal five. That's wrong. That's going to give me an error because Java wants to know, okay, well, what the hell is x? What kind of what kind of data is x? And uh, this tutorial is not only just variables, but also data types, right? Now, there's types of data in Java and most programming languages, right? And so, the, uh, 5 would come under the data type integer, all right? So, x is an integer, and right, it's 5. We're going to create a new integer. We're going to call it x, and it's going to equal 5. It doesn't have to equal 5. It can, e equal, it can equal absolutely nothing for now. You know, it doesn't have to equal anything. But... We're gonna have equal five. We're gonna go system dot out dot println, and you can print out variables. Just pass it in. Just, however, don't remember. Remember, if you put speech marks or quotation marks, it will literally print x. However, if you remove those, and it's gonna know. Oh, okay, you want the variable x, right? Then it'll print out five. You see where I'm going with this? Hopefully. Now, other types of. Uh, Data include byte, uh, short, long, float. Those are the numerical data types. I'm going to go through them all. So, a byte, uh, I believe, has a minimum and maximum of uh, minus 128 all the way to 127. A short, uh, that's again uh, numerical, uh, has a range uh, from minus 32,000 to plus 32,000 something like that. Integer, uh, I, sh I think it's like, the range is like minus 2 billion to 2 to plus 2 billion, something like that. And long, just, yeah. Longs are very long. Float, ah, uh, yes, I must stress. Uh, integers, or bytes, or shorts, any of those, you can't have decimal numbers. Because an integer is a full number, a short is a full number, a byte is a full number. It's not going to like it. So, what do I do for a decimal? You make it float. Alright, that's still going to give me an error. Why? Because you need to make it 5.4f. Alright. There we go. You've got your decimal. Uh, but, I, I believe float... Uh, I, I don't remember the range of floats. Um, but... If a float is too small for you, then you can get a double. All right, those are the two types of uh, data with decimals, numerical data with decimals. So there are non-numerical data types, uh, such as a boolean. Now, a boolean is just like, no, I don't like numbers. No, ho, ho. Boolean has two values: true or false. So. You're sitting here thinking, X, okay, well, what the hell is it going to print? It's literally going to print false. All right? But this is most commonly used for testing things. So, like, this could be, is colliding. Ah, uh, I'm going to do this. If, you know, is colliding equals true, then destroy the player or whatnot. You know, uh, as I'm going through teaching you programming, I'm going to be teaching you, you know, as well, why, how these things relate to game development as well. So, so don't worry. Um, so that, that, you know, there you go, boolean. Simple enough, right? Last of all, uh, actually not last of all, we've got char, which is a character. Okay, I'm going to go back to X. And uh, that's going to be like, nope, I want one thing. Just one single character. You know, you, you're familiar with characters. And you're actually going to have to wrap these around with, uh, we call these quotes, quotation marks, in uh, the UK. No idea what Americans call them, but yeah. Um, and yeah, you can literally put anything in there, and it'll be fine with it, yeah, it's going to be fine with it. 
And last of all, string. String, you need uh, double quotes or speech marks. All right, and there we go. And string just supports anything, you know. Just why not? And there we've got. There we have it. Hopefully you have a good understanding of variables now, variables and data types in Java. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Just make sure they're not stupid questions, otherwise I won't answer them. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this and learned quite a bit. Uh, I'd suggest leaving a like and a comment. So if you haven't already, subscribe. Have a fantastically brilliant day, guys. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.